pretty cool stuff that I just built. Um, so this is the Timeline Builder app, but right now I want to talk about the sharing links of individual items from the repeating group. That's pretty cool. I've spent like a couple of hours on working on it. So basically, I'll just show you how share works. In general, you can share your timeline with anyone and they will be able to, uh, let me share in the incognito mode. So they will be able to share your timeline, I mean, see your timeline, right? But also what you could do is you could just grab individual item from the repeating group and share it with them, see? Like maybe in the future, I'm gonna add uh, ability to make comments and give likes and stuff like that. I don't know, let's see how it goes. But at the moment, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share how to, do, how to build that. So uh, here is my backend for it. So this is the dashboard, group timeline, RG timeline, and we've got edits. So here it is. So basically what you want to happen is first you have to copy the link or URL, then you share it with someone. And then when they come to the page, uh, Bubble should uh, find out the parameters of the URL and then scroll to individual um, item in the repeating group. So uh, let's, I, I think I've uh, broken, it in, uh, broken it down into pieces. So. First, let's make sure copy works, right? So first of all, you go to plugins and install Air Copy to Clipboard. That's plugin by Zero Code. Shout out to them. They do a lot of great stuff. So uh, once you do that, then you go to, um, uh, yeah, you go to workflow. And what you want to do is, well, I don't know. I don't remember why I decided to do it like this, but that's what I do. So I save the current current cells unique id in the custom state id url so when someone clicks on this based on the which item it is in the repeating group i'm saving the unique url unique id in the um, custom state and then i copy this value so so basically this is the URL, right? The main URL, base URL for uh, page dashboard. Page dashboard is where your timeline is. Then current users, I, uh, unique ID, because that's how I have my page usually, because uh, when it is a profile page, you have to have the type for the uh, type for the page. Otherwise, you cannot display uh, current users' data dynamically into the profile page. So. Right now I do this uh, current user's unique ID and then slash and this data. Whatever unique ID I have saved in the custom state, I copy it here. So basically what you get at the end of the day is like right now, see this is like page dashboard and this is unique ID of my user, right? Of me as a user of uh, this application. But individual item has its own unique ID, right? So I have just copied NFT artist and you're gonna see what changes, see? This is after the another slash here. Now this is the unique ID of this individual item. So now what I've done is I have created the URL where I can identify the individual element. So now what's next? Next is when someone gets to my application with that URL, uh, we need to uh, identify the item and also we need them to uh, scroll to this specific uh, item as well. So what I do on page load, this is completely different for some uh, other reason, but for the index, you have to go to plugin, plugins again, and install one thing index finder. That's uh, a plugin by Ellie. Yep, he does also a lot of good stuff for the community. So shout out to him. So now let's go to uh, this. And uh, so now we need to identify the right item, right? So what I do is, well, basically you go to plugins, you click on uh, find index of backend. What do you need to find? Like I, I'm looking for a timeline item and uh, list of things like specific on the page is, I guess, 
SRG timelines list of timelines so this is repeating group right and inside I have the list of timelines okay so once you do that we need to uh, think to find and think to find will be this one search for timelines so I'm, I'm searching for all timelines and then I'm just identifying this specific one uh, with getting the data from the URL so basically what you do is what you need to do is you need to do a search for timeline and then you have to uh, add the constraint of unique ID so unique ID has to be the one that's in the URL so this one right so uh, this one will be we can get it from get data from page URL and we'll have to split it into segments <coughs> I apologize so to split it into segments what it does is you have like one unique ID here another segment is here between slashes I guess so that's that splits in uh, the URL into the segments and remember unique ID is text but sometimes like you might not define it as a unique ID if you are using something else you will have to choose like if it's number it has to be number if it's date it has to be date and stuff like that and then I need last item because this unique ID in here is the last one and that's it basically this is what I've done and the result of this is the number or index of individual item so like right now this one is first one right so I couldn't I couldn't use index number with uh, to, to identify this specific item because if I add something new in here now this is not first one anymore right now it has changed so I need to get to this uh, dynamically so uh, basically this is why I need to identify the index number and then there is just scroll function on element actions mm, scroll to entry so scroll to is scrolling to individual element on the in the design but right now we are we don't have this individual element on the page or it's like dynamic right whether it's not there or whether it's not there so uh, you need to uh, choose scroll to entry and then this is what happens you choose the element and then scroll to RG timelines list of timelines item number and item number is the index number whatever we've identified identified in the step two and basically that's it that's how you can have individual uh, or, or this is how you can share individual link of an item from the repeating group and then have users scroll to that specific page or section of the page so to be able to do this you're going to need uh, air copy to clipboard plugin thanks to zero code shout out to them shout out to ellie who has uh, created the uh, index finder plugin and here is ellie's page you can give him a follow here is PropJot's um, page, you can give him a follow. We've been working on this for two hours. Y yesterday we used like a lot of JavaScript, but then we, like all of a sudden we realized there is a couple of uh, options we can do without any extra code, but still like he was so helpful and stuff. You can give him a follow. And finally, this is my page. And uh, yeah, give me a follow, support me. I'm on a mission to become the best bubble developer in 2022. So I'll be, I'll need any type of support you can give. So uh, thank you guys and take care.